Welcome to another Apache Guacamole video. Um, as of today, the most current version is Apache Guacamole 1.5.2. Um, today we will be talking about TOTP two-factor authentication. So I'm going to show you guys how to configure two-factor authentication to make your Apache Guacamole more secure. Um, this video applies to those of you who are not using a uh, SAM authentication, either Azure or um, uh, ADFS. If you're just using Guacamole with either the local authentication, um, SQL authentication or LDAP authentication, um, this video is for you. I actually got a request from one of my viewers saying they wanted to um, help to be able to do TOTP. So TOTP is a uh, two-factor authentication protocol that you can use to further protect your or secure your uh, Apache Guacamole and I'm going to show you the steps so you can do this so that every time a user logs in they're going to be prompted to um, enter a TOTP code from their mobile device to be able to complete the login so this works out of the box all you need to do is put in um, the extension in the right place and it just works. You don't need to do any configuration, but I'll show you some tweaks you can do and we're going to go ahead and do this together. So the first thing you want to do is go into um, the Apache's website and download um, the extension. So you want to go to guacamole.apache.com. You want to go to download, select your version. In this case, we're using 1.5.2 and you want to download TOTP. For this video, we're not using Duo. We're just using TOTP. So you're going to click on TOTP and once that downloads, you want to unzip the file and make sure you open it up and you should find something or a jar file um called guacamole uh, dash auth dash totp for 1.5.2 so now we're going to go into the command line and we're going to start by um sshing into your apache guacamole in this case I'm, i have two command lines open one for ssh and one for sftp so we're going to use sst sftp to be able to transfer um, the file we downloaded into Apache um, Guacamole um, since we're using a virtual machine. So in this case, you want to make sure um, you change your directory into the etc-guacamole uh, folder. Okay, if I do ls, we're going to see we have... Um, an extensions directory so we're going to cd into extensions as of right now we have just the mysql um, extension in there so we're going to use the put command um, and i'm going to drag and drop this file in here uh, okay permission denied okay i'm just going to do this from a directory that i have um, permissions in there but if you were if you ssh into your um, instance as root this should work for you just fine but since i'm not ssh as root i'm going to do that to the standards uh, i'm going to send the file to the standard users directory home directory and then we'll move that into the extensions um, directory in the etc guacamole folder or directory so first, what I'm going to do is try to view what is in the um, in that user's uh, directory. Make sure that our file is in there. Okay, you can see. So now I'm going to use the move command to move um, the file into um, the etc dash guacamole uh, that's extensions directory and now if we do an ls you can see the totp authentication um, jar file is in there so i'm going to clear and then i'm going to do 
I'm going to change my directory and go back to etc guacamole. And now we're going to open up the guacamole um, configuration parameters file, which is the, the properties file. So guacamole.properties, you can use nano or some other text editor to open up that file. So like once again, I said, uh, TOTP works out of the box. You don't need to make any changes to it, but I made some tweaks um, based on the documentation. So based on the documentation on here, um, you can use these parameters to make some changes. So some of the uh, parameters include the TOTP digits. So by default, there's six of them, um, but if you don't do any of these, they're just gonna configure to the default. So I set mine to eight. Um, for the TOTP period, default um, valid time is 30 seconds before the code expires and you need to use a new one. Um, in this case, uh, I set mine to 50. And then um, for the TOTP mode, you have um, different kind of values. You can use SHA-1, 256, and 512. The default is SHA-1. I think SHA-1 is fine. I just did a custom and did uh, SHA-512, okay? So now that that's done, um, what we need to do, we just need to restart our servlet container. We don't need to res restart uh, guacamole itself. So all we need to do is to uh, run the systemctl command and restart um, uh, Tomcat. Nine. Okay. Yep, I spelled that wrong. Tomcat nine, and that should do it. And um, restarting Tomcat. Uh, what we can do is I created a test user, so I'm going to try logging in as a test user, okay? So test user, test user, and when I try to log in, sorry. Okay. So when I try to log in as the test user, you can see that we are presented with a barcode for us to scan. And uh, then at this point, we can um, be able to set up the TOTP. So I'm going to switch over to my phone. Um, in this case, I am going to show you guys how I did the configuration on my phone. And then we're going to move to the next steps. So on my phone, I was able to go into the app store. Since I use an iPhone, you can download any TOTP or multi-factor um, authentication app. Um, you can use Google or Microsoft Authenticator. You can use Google Authenticator. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and download Google Authenticator. So once that's done, I open up Google Authenticator and I get started and I can use that without an account. Um, and then all you need to do is press the plus button and select the option to scan a QR code. At this time, I was able to scan the QR code and as you can see, it is all set up. So going back, so going back into um, the Apache Guacamole um, web interface, I'm able to input the authentication code that I see on my screen, which is 70112389. And then I can press continue. And once I do that, you can see now I'm able to log in. So if I log out as a test user and I try logging in again, it wants to verify my identity by requiring me to enter another code. And once I hit continue, and then I am logged into Apache Guacamole successfully. So thank you all for watching this series of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions, leave a comment down um, in the comment section below. Please hit the like button to like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you have any request of certain videos that you may want to make, uh, you may want me to make either for Apache Guacamole or um, any other tool out there that I've been doing um, these videos on, 
you can send me an email or leave a comment in the description below thank you guys